Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Adding Three or More Numbers Together Up to Two Digits. This is part one. So in this lesson, we'll be stacking the numbers up vertically like we always do, we'll, but we will be adding three or maybe even four numbers together that are up to two digits uh, in complexity. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say the first problem, let's say, is the number six plus the number 12 plus the number 13. We like to add these guys together. So first of all, we stack them vertically like this, and notice the six is pushed to the right, so all the numbers that can be pushed to the right must uh, be pushed to the right so that we can start in the right column, which is what we're going to do. We start here. Now, when we add numbers, especially when you start adding more and more digits together, it's really important to try to pick the largest numbers to deal with first. You don't have to. You can add the numbers in any order you want, but it's going to be easier if you start with the bigger ones, and you'll see why as we go along. So six is the biggest number here. So let's go ahead and add six, and you can add it to the three or the two. It doesn't matter what comes next so much, but start with the number six. So let's go six plus two. Start with six in your mind, seven, eight. All right, so the six plus two gives us an eight. So this is an eight. Now we have to add three more. So start with eight, nine, 10, 11, and we land at 11. So we know that all of these added together add up to 11, but that's a two digit number. So we have to carry, uh, the one into the next column. Now one plus one plus one, you all know is three, and so the three goes in this column, and that's the answer, 31. Now if you were to, to start adding this column with a three or a two first, uh, it's perfectly fine to do, but then you have to count more on your fingers. So uh, if you're in the beginning, you're usually counting on your fingers a lot, so it's just going to be easier to start with the largest number and go from there. All right, next problem. We're going to be adding the following numbers together. Four plus six plus eight. Again, we're lining them all up. They're only one digit, so we line them up. Now we could start with four and then add six and then add eight, but then we'd be doing a lot of counting on our fingers, a lot of, a lot of fingers. So it's going to be easier if we start with the biggest number, eight, and then we'll add to that the next biggest number, six, right next door. So eight going up six more, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this gives us 14, 14 right here, these digits. So 14 plus four more, start with 14, go up 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, 18, so the answer is 18. So you could think of it as an eight and carry the one and then add it, but really there's nothing, there's no other column, so you can just put the 18 down here. This is the correct answer, 31 for this problem and 18 for the next one. All right, let's get some more practice. What if we have the number eight and then we'll add to that the number 17, and then we'll add to that the number 19. Again, uh, I'm going to start with the largest number, and I generally don't skip around too much. I try to go in order unless it's just really helpful to skip around. So let's just go nine plus the one right next door, which is seven. Again, you can add them in any order you want. So the order I'm doing it is not the only way. You can do it your way if you want to, but I'm gonna start with nine and go up seven more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16. So these, the, the nine plus the seven gives me 16, but then I have eight. So then I'll go up from 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I'll get to 24. So 24 is a two digit number. So the four has to go down and I'll have to carry the two to the next column. Two plus one is three, plus one more is four. And so the answer we get for this is 44. So it just takes practice. We'll have more digits to keep track of, and, and you know that's part of learning. We have to get practice with it, so that's what we're going to do. What if we have 12, and we add to that 32, and then we add to that 53. We wanna add these together. So we're going to go in the right column. I'll start with the biggest number, which is a three, and I'll add to it the number two. Three, four, five. So three plus two is five, and then I have two more going up from five, six, seven. So the column here gives us an answer of seven. So seven goes in this column. This column, I'll start with the biggest number, five, and I'll add two at three. Start with five, six, seven, eight. So five plus the three is eight. One more here is nine. So the answer is 97. All right, about halfway through, almost halfway through, let's say we have the number 17, and we'll add to that 93, and then we'll add to that 24. So again, I'm going to start with the biggest number, seven, and I'm gonna to add to that what's right next door, which is three. So go up seven, eight, nine, 10. So the seven plus the three is 10, 
and then I have to add four more. So going up 10 plus four, you all know is 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 is a two digit number. I can't write it all down here. I have to carry the one to the next column. Now you see here, the biggest number is nine. So I'll just start with that and I'll add two more. Going up from nine, 10, 11. And then once I have 11 from right here, plus one is 12, plus one more is 13. There are no other columns, so I'll just write it as 13 down here, and the answer is 134. All right, and notice that in this column, in this problem, I didn't have to start with the nine here. I started with the nine when I did the addition, but I could have just started with one, and then plus one more, and then plus nine more. You know, it's all fine, but then you're counting nine and you, it's just a little harder. So I always like to start with the largest number if I can. All right, what about 18? And then I'm gonna to add to that 56 and I'll add to that 91. So again, the right-hand column, the largest number is an eight, I'll add to that six. So going up, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the eight plus the six gives me the 14. I add one more, that's 15. 15 is a two-digit number, so I have to carry the one. Again, in this column, I'll start with the biggest number, nine. I'll go up five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I get 14 with these guys, 15 with this one, 16 with that one. So the answer is 16, and there's no more columns, so I'll just put a six here and a one, so the answer is 165. Getting close to the end, what if we have the number seven? And I want to add to that the number 19, and I'll add to that the number 58. All right, these are all pretty big numbers, but I'm still going to choose the biggest ones, 9, and I'll try to add to that the 8. So I'll go up from 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So the 9 plus the 8 gives me 17, but then I have to add 7 more. So go up from 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and I get 24. So the whole column gives me 24, so I need to put the four here and I need to carry the two, and then I work on this column. Biggest number is five, plus one more is six, so I have six, plus two more going up from six, seven, eight, and I land on eight. So an eight goes in this column and the answer is 84. All right, now we're finally going to get into some slightly more difficult problems. What if we have 86, and I'll add to that 54, and I'll add to that 32, and I'll add to that 44. So I have, in this case, four numbers I'm adding, and each is a two column number. So I need to start in the right column. I can add these numbers in the right column in whatever order I want, but it's going to be easier to choose the biggest number first. So let me just start with six, and I'll add four to that right next door. So six plus four, seven, eight, nine, 10. So the six plus four is a 10, 10 right here. Then I'm gonna add two uh, to the 10, which is 12. Two plus 10 is 12, you all know that. So all the way up to this point, I have 12, and then I have to add four more. So 13, 14, 15, and then 16. So I'm gonna get an answer of 16 for this column, but I can't write the whole thing down. I have to carry one to this column. Now here's a great opportunity for a lot of errors. You have a lot of numbers here to add. My advice is to choose, start with the biggest one and then go is to the next door neighbor, which in this case is also the next biggest one. So eight plus five. So eight going up, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13 here, right? And then with the one up top, that's 14. This is 14 right here. So I have 14 uh, with these top three numbers. And then adding these three, I have 15, 16, 17. So all the way from here to here, I have 17. And then four more is? 18, 19, 20, 21. I have 21. So there's no more columns to add, so I'll put a one here and I'll put a two here, and the answer is 216. So you see, when you're adding four uh, numbers together, you just have to be careful, but the same process is what we're going to do in all the cases. Now, let's say for our last problem, we or our last couple of problems, we have 51, and then we have 42, and then we have 63, and then we add these together. So in the right-hand column, I'm gonna start with a three and add two more, four, five. So I'm gonna have five here, but then one more is six, so a six will go here. And in this column, I'll start with the six, and I'll add the four, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
So the six plus four is 10, and then 10 plus five is 15. If you forget that, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 is what we get here, so you put a five, you don't have to carry anything because there are no more columns, and you get an answer of 156. All right, final question. What if we have 92, and we'll add to that 79, then we'll add to that 66, then we'll add to that 48. Lots of numbers. So what do I want to do? I mean, I could start with the 8, I could start with the 9. I mean, it, there's really no right answer. Let me start with the 9 and then just add the 6 next door. So 9 plus the 6. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the 9 plus the 6 is 15. Let's go ahead and add the 8 going up from 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. So we have 23 with these three numbers, then two more, up from 23, 24, 25. We land on 25. So this whole column is 25. So we put a five and then we carry a two to the next column. So we actually have to carry a two for 25. We can't write the whole thing down there. We carry a two. Now, let's start with nine. Let's add to it the seven, which is right next door, nine plus seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is 16, and then plus the two, 17, 18. So we have 18 with these top three numbers, that's 18. 18 plus six, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 all the way to here. 24, then we have to add four more from 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. So we have 28 in the entire column and we put an eight right here with a two right next door for an answer of 285. So you see, here we have increased the challenge of adding numbers by having a large stack of numbers. And so when you have that, you just have to be a little more careful, add them carefully, get that answer and then add the next number and then get that answer and add the next number and don't rush through it. Also notice that in all the previous problems we've been carrying a one uh, most of the time. But when we have lots of numbers added together, we might have to carry a two to the next column or carry a two like for 25 or for 24. So when we start adding three and four and five uh, numbers together, we often have to carry something other than a one to the next column. So we will get more practice with this. I'd like you to solve all of these yourself. Follow me on to the next lesson. Let's get more practice with adding three or more numbers up to two digits.